Winter has come and gone and spring is here. So let's talk about the winter 2019 anime season, shall we? Here on Comic Universe. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to the Web Source Must See Comic and Nerd Culture Show. Welcome to the Comic Universe. I'm Dr. J, I've got a PhD in Nerd Culture and I should know, I printed it out myself. So you guys, we are here diving into the world of anime. As you can see, I'm riding solo here on this video and I watch a ton of anime, in particular seasonal stuff. So I thought I'd try something a little different for the channel and start diving into the world of anime. Since I know there are probably a lot of anime fans here on this channel. So, why not start with this past season of winter 2019. I am here to give you guys my personal top 5 best anime of winter 2019. Now, here are some rules. I'm not including continuations from shows that were in like the previous season and then continuing into winter like the long-running stuff so One Piece and Black Clover things like that that's not included even though I love those they're not included in this list there is a second season on this list however uh, this one is one that just returned that came during the winter season so I count it so without further ado let's get down to this list shall we Number five on this list is going to be Domestic Girlfriend. Now, I'm not going to lie. The reason Domestic Girlfriend is on here is because I am a fan of trashy romance stories. And that is exactly what Domestic Girlfriend is. Honestly, I was going to completely skip out on this show until somebody showed me a clip of the opening. And I was like... Whoa, this opening is fire. I have to see what this show is about. And essentially, this show is about a guy who ends up having a crush on his teacher, who isn't actually that much older than him, like maybe four or five years older than him. And to try and get over his teacher rejecting him, he ends up hooking up with another girl. And then later, his dad announces that he's getting remarried to some new lady. Turns out that new lady is the mother of not only the girl that he slept with, but his teacher that he has a crush on. Yeah, things get real spicy real fast and I was hooked. Honestly, that's the main reason I like it. I don't want to spend too much time on it because there are a lot more layers to it and this isn't a review of each of the individual series. These are just ones that I like that I personally am going to recommend. So honestly, I'm just going to give you guys a bunch of short blurbs about each anime and what I like about them. And you'll have to go on Crunchyroll and watch them yourselves. Don't worry, I don't have any of the ones that are on like High Dive or anything else. All the ones that I'm recommending are available to stream on Crunchyroll. So be sure to check that out. So moving on to my number four pick. We are going to be talking about The Rising of the Shield Hero, Season 1. So, I know a lot of you guys will be like, wait, why is this so low on the list? Rising of the Shield Hero is dope. And yes, it is great. It's isekai, but it's very interesting in a way because it's isekai where everyone is kind of aware of the isekai trope. And we start off with a hero where the entire world just kind of turns against him and he sort of has to put up this facade of being the villain or this hated character even though he himself is the most heroic character out of all the heroes in the land and even though he makes some questionable decisions at the end of the day he does what's right and what is best for this world great action sequences amazing music great waifu material and raftalia and it's just a fantastic show overall. Like, normally, isekai is something that I try to avoid, even though it's kind of impossible to avoid because there's always at least one isekai show per season. But honestly, this embraces the formula so well that 
I didn't mind it at all. It's actually a very entertaining, very gripping story with some really interesting societal commentary thrown in there. I really like it. I definitely recommend it. That is why Rising of the Shield Hero is in my number four spot. Now in my number three spot, we're going to talk about probably my favorite comedy of the winter 2019 anime season, and that is of course Kaguya-sama Love is War. Now anybody who is familiar with that anime, I'm sure as soon as I mentioned that name, the first thing you pictured was Chika's Dance. And I don't blame you because that is just absolutely adorable. But yeah, Kaguya-sama Love is War is basically, what if two tsundere's liked each other and got into this intense chess game kaiji death note level battle with this over the top narrator that basically dramatizes everything and basically puts all your trivial teenage problems onto the level that you thought they were in in your head when you were a teenager it is absolutely hilarious Take my word for it. Watch the first episode. If you are not dying of laughter, then I don't know what to tell you. It's great. But yeah, that is my number three spot. My number two spot has to go to probably my favorite new show of winter 2019. And one of the best psychological thrillers I have seen in a long time. And that is, of course, The Promised Neverland. Now... I'm a huge fan of this manga. The manga is absolutely amazing. So I was on pins and needles when I heard that Cloverworks was doing an anime adaptation and I could not wait to see what they did. And I gotta say, man, I wish I had not read the manga beforehand because I wish I could have experienced this fully blind. This is the only one where I'm not going to give a blurb to it because if I tell you anything about it, you're going to end up like not getting the full experience of the show just take my word for it this is a must watch must watch and go in as blind as possible because that first episode will hook you you will be like oh my god did that just happen i need to know what happens next and you're gonna binge right through it i absolutely love it i highly highly recommend it and once you finish definitely read the manga start at chapter 37 you're welcome so, what is the big number one spot on this top five anime countdown for winter 2019? Well, my number one spot, of course, goes to the second season of one of my favorite anime in recent years. And that is, of course, Mob Psycho 100 Season 2. So, if you guys don't know what Mob Psycho 100 is... It is a series created by the same creator as One Punch Man, where basically we have this young middle school student, Shigeru Kageyama, aka Mob, who is an overpowered, super talented psychic who has crazy, abundant psychic powers, is able to exercise spirits, and he works part-time for this con man fake psychic Reagan Arataka and basically Mob is a socially awkward kid who through help of Reagan um, and the rest of his supporting cast and the different people he meets throughout his journeys Mob learns to grow as a person and develop and learn how to handle social situations his own personal emotions and learning how to keep his immense powers in check but man, Studio Bones goes all out with this show. The music is amazing. The animation in every single scene. It does not have to be a fight scene. It could be the just them running, them eating the burger, them just sitting there and talking. The animation is absolutely crisp. It is beautiful, a sight to behold. And if you want Sakuga, man... Look no further than Mob Psycho 100. This show delivers some of the best fights you will ever see in anime. And not only do they have the physical impact and gravitas of, say, a Dragon Ball Z fight, but they have something that many fights tend to lack, especially in shonen: Emotional weight and impact. 
Because a lot of mobs fights don't just come down to physical punches, because if it did come out down to that, then it would just be like an episode of One Punch Man. No, really what mob has to deal with is learning to connect with his opponent and empathize with them. And so with each fight, he grows as a person and develops emotionally. It's really interesting. It definitely makes you feel good. And for those of us who grew up as those shy, awkward kids in middle school, it's definitely a relatable show. I highly recommend Mob Cycle 100. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my top five anime of 2019. Women and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this. But let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like so let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what we do here in the comic universe, definitely hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time we upload new videos. Myself, DPZ, and C-Dubs have a lot coming up. Shazam is coming up this weekend. C-Dubs will be putting out the spoiler-free review and I will be handling the spoiler version coming this weekend. So definitely look forward to that. But until next time, guys, this is Jay from Mr. Reviews for the Comic Universe. Until next time, I hope to see you guys in the universe. Peace.